Hello there, my name is Gary Sims for Android Authority. Google and Apple have both recently released new mobile computers. And although the two machines are quite different, they have one thing in common, which is they both include USB Type-C connectors. So what is USB Type-C? Well, let's find out. I guess you're already familiar with USB. If you have a PC, you've probably used a flash drive, or maybe you've connected up a printer via a USB cable. If you have an Android phone, then you'll be familiar with it as the way that you charge your phone, or as the way you can copy data to and from your phone over a cable. USB has been around for a long time. It first gained mainstream popularity when Microsoft included support for it in Windows 98, and Apple used it as a way to remove the keyboard and mouse port on its iMac. Well, that was almost 20 years ago, and things have certainly changed since then. The first mainstream USB specification was USB 1.1 and it could transfer data at 12 megabits a second. That's 1.4 megabytes a second. Back in the day when a floppy disk could hold 1.4 megabytes, that was considered fast. USB 2 was released in the year 2000, sporting a theoretical throughput of 480 megabits a second. Recently you may have noticed USB ports with a blue interior. These are USB 3.0 ports. The USB 3.0 standard was published in 2008 and allows for theoretical speeds of around 5 gigabits a second. USB 1.1, 2.0 and 3.0 all use the same type of physical port, the standard USB type A plug and socket on the PC end and then either a micro or mini B port on the peripheral end, that's on your phone end or on the camera end. Physically all the ports are backwardly compatible so you can plug your Android smartphone into a blue USB 3.0 port and everything will work as expected. However, this has changed with USB 3.1. As you would expect, USB 3.1 is faster than USB 3.0. In fact, it's fast enough that it can drive 4K displays. That means that laptops and PCs of the future won't necessarily need HDMI or VGA sockets. But the big difference that consumers will see is in the use of a new type of plug. The A and B type connectors are now old history. The new connector is called USB Type-C. So what does a USB Type-C connector give us that Type-A and Type-B connectors can't? First of all, the Type-C connector is small. That means we don't need to have any more mini USB or micro USB connectors. The Type-C connector can be used on everything from an Android smartphone all the way up to a server. Secondly, it's rated at 100 watts. That means the cable can be used to charge more than just Android smartphones or tablets. It can also be used to power much larger equipment. Maybe in the future, a single cable will be used to connect your printer to your PC to provide it with both electricity and as a data connection. Thirdly, the Type-C cable is reversible. That means it doesn't matter which way around you connect it. No more trying to plug in a cable, find out you got it the wrong way around, trying again and then realizing that in fact you had it right the first time. Finally, the Type-C cables have a Type-C plug at both ends. There will no longer be a socket A plug and a socket B type plug. They will be truly interchangeable. You can connect the cable whichever way around you like and however you like and it will still work. The two most prominent devices with USB 3.1 support right now are the new Google Chromebook Pixel and the new MacBook. However, USB 3.1 and Type-C connectors will become the de facto standard over the next few years. Since it's backwardly compatible, you only need a passive adapter to connect an existing USB 2 device and it will just work as expected. That means that companies adopting this new technology won't alienate their existing customers. Google's also made it clear that we'll be seeing the Type-C connector in lots of products coming up in the future. That means the Type-C connector is not only going to change the way we use our PCs, our laptops and our Chromebooks, it's also going to change the way we use our Android smartphones and our Android tablets. So there it is, USB Type-C. Truly one size does fit all. My name is Gary Sims from Android Authority. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, please use the comments below to tell me what you think about this new type of connector. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Android Authority's YouTube channel. And as for me, I'll see you in my next video.